Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you how to replace a toilet. And so basically this is a newer house about three, four years old and the toilets that came with it, as you can probably tell from the tank right there, are very small. The first thing, the first step that you wanna do when replacing a toilet is to just turn off the water source. And usually when you're staring at the toilet, the water source is gonna be on the ground on the left hand side. There's some toilets that actually have a water source connector that you twist the little uh, button and then some of them are going to be where you just pull out the switch and this one's one of the pull out the switch ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the switch out here. Now from there, the first thing you wanna do is actually just flush the toilet to get the water out. So as you can see here, there's still some water in the toilet and so that's, that's just gonna be something where you have, you'd have to suction it out. Let's quickly talk about the tools you're gonna to need for this project. So I've got a pair of long nose pliers here. Got a couple different screwdrivers just for one to be longer and shorter. Might need a Phillips, but if we need to do that, we'll get that. Got a pair of channel lock pliers and a pair of these pliers here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we're going to um, go over to the side part right here and just remove this bolt and come down here and we'll remove Move this little thing here. And once you remove it a little bit, then you're gonna go ahead and grab your uh, screwdriver and just pop the cap. And you'll see your little nut right there. Now if you grabbed an adjustable wrench too, you can take this little bolt off with the adjustable wrench, but I'm just gonna use my long nose pliers here and just twist this until it comes off. Okay, so uh, basically I just took these screws off the top of the bolt that's on there. Essentially these guys here were on top of that. So it was just um, you know, your plastic piece, your washer, and the other side for your nut. Just take those off. And essentially now your toilet is completely loose. So I'm gonna back up here a little bit. And all you really have to do at this point is, there should be a seal right along here. And so this seal is gonna be from the caulking so you might need to loosen that up a little bit. Um, the other thing you wanna do is make sure that you drain the top of your tank. So what I'm gonna do is go around the entire toilet bowl with this screwdriver and just loosen up all of the caulking. And that's gonna allow it to come up easily because that's probably what'll hold it down. I'm gonna disconnect my hose. And so I'll show you where um, the hose goes up and underneath the toilet here. This piece right here, we can use our pliers and just open this up, put a bucket underneath it because water will come down. Um, if it's in good shape, you can just remove these items. So now that I have this water hose removed, I'll go ahead and remove the toilet off of the base off the floor. Okay, and then once you have all of your caulking loose, then you should just be able to grab onto the toilet and pull it, and it should come right up from the ground. Once that's completely removed, you should be able to lift it up off the base. Now the other thing that you might need is a new wax ring here. This house is pretty new, so the wax ring around there is relatively new still. So you may not need a wax ring in this case, but it's always good, they cost seven or eight dollars. Buy a new wax ring, because that's what seals the toilet to the ground. So we're gonna grab our new toilet and bring that in here and set it all up. So the replacement toilet we bought was an American Standard um, Champion 4 Max, just your local hardware store. Comes with a 10 year warranty. The thing that's nice about this is it's saying here, engineered to prevent clogs. Um, and it's basically telling you that it will, it's engineered to flush a bucket of golf balls in a single flush. All right, so I took the toilet out of the box and basically what you have here is your main toilet unit. Doesn't look that much different from the other one. Just obviously has a little bit deeper. What was really nice is this toilet, the tank even comes with everything already pre-installed. So we have the flapper, we have uh, you know the water part, we have everything here. And as I mentioned, it's really pretty simple to put this whole thing together. Um, there's a space right here for the two bolts for the top. And then here's where the toilet seat goes. So that's what those bolts are for. I'm gonna install the bottom part of the toilet first before putting the top part on. Why carry around extra weight when you can just carry this part, which is heavy, 
over there, mount it down, and then put the other part. All right, so I decided it was a good idea to put your new uh, wax ring on there. So this was as simple as just taking the wax ring and dropping it on here. You probably should uh, smush it down a little bit, let the toilet do that. I made sure my bolts were on either side of the toilet bowl so that those are all set. When you're actually installing this, line up the bolts so that you can easily mount your hardware back on. And that's also gonna make sure that the hole at the bottom of the toilet is matched up with the hole in the ground, which is really important to make sure because you don't want water leaking all over the place. Now that I have my toilet set up here, I wanted to make sure that it was good. So I put a, a bucket of water down in there to make sure that the water went in and no leaks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my bolts back on here. Secure this down tight. All right, so this particular set came with a special tool here. These two pieces will go underneath, and then this guy here will go on here, and then we can, underneath here, put the bolt on to hold the toilet tank in place. And you'll probably need a screwdriver in the top. And I made sure that each of these bolts here, the one right there and the one right there are nice and tight. And that's what holds your tank onto the toilet bowl itself. And hook my water up. You're gonna to wanna to put Teflon tape on the threads of your water spout right there because that's gonna prevent any water from leaking out. Okay, so I got my Teflon tape or plumber tape, whatever you wanna call it on there and I'm ready to turn my water back on. So I'm gonna push this in and keep an eye because you wanna make sure that nothing uh, spills all over the place. But it looks like my water's filling up right there. So that's about all it takes. I just went ahead and put the toilet seat on and put the cover on the top of the toilet. And then the only other thing I'm gonna have to do then is um, caulk around the bottom you know, all around the edge of the, the toilet here. And then uh, should be good to go. But um, supposedly you can flush golf balls down this thing. So put something in there to give us a sense. And away we go. I don't know that I'd be testing out golf balls, but other than that, it seems to work well. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Um, definitely consider subscribing to see some other content. As I mentioned, I did a couple other toilet related um, videos. So go ahead and check those out. And uh, thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it.